This is hydrogen tap. What we're looking at here is the lab one unit. I've got had a lot of email requesting me to put out a unit that would be less expensive. The video before this showed this lab unit being taken apart. It's completely can be disassembled. What you're looking at there, you can see the two electrodes are on the top. It's got a hydrogen port in the center. The hole towards us here usually has a cork in it. That's the water fill hole. The reason I've left that open is because I don't want anything, any pressure in this unit at all. That way we can see exactly how much hydrogen it's putting out. By closing that up, you'd get a pressure type arrangement, and it would change things. Here we'll turn it on and show you what this is about. You can see the amperage is really low. It's around 3 amps at 14 volts. If you take a particular look at this water, it is not brown. It's not full of garbage. I've now decided, figured out, maybe slow, I don't know. It's the fact most of the garbage that you're seeing from your tap is from the tap water itself that's coming through your pipes. If you let the water run a little bit, most of that will disappear. So you let the faucet run, then put the water in here. You can see the seal on the top of the unit. This runs on tap water. The seal, there's a seal on the top and a seal on the bottom that enables you to take the unit apart completely by loosening the nuts on top. This gives you a good idea how much hydrogen and oxygen is being put out. Remember, this puts out hydrogen and oxygen together. But the good news is the amount of hydrogen and oxygen that it puts out is almost a perfect combination. This again is a test unit for bench as all the units I'm selling are. Also the cell inside I'm selling for $50, that's 50 US. If you go to hydrogentap.com, you can see more pictures of this, more views. I also have Stanley Myers patent up there if you want to take a look at it. I'm getting ready to do a pulse system as this is probably one of the videos, one of the few videos left that I'm going to be putting out until I get this pulse system running. I will be showing you every step of the way, just like I did to get to where we are here. I hope the pulse system isn't boring. The pulse system is going to work with the 3LR 1000 units, or for that matter, any of the plate systems. Got a number of feedback about the plate system working with the pulse. I believe the plate system is still a better way to go, and I am going to pursue that angle instead of using the tubes. I hope this gives you a good look at the Lab 1 unit. You can go to hydrogentap.com.